All right, we're going to be looking at putting in a closed circuit television set uh, recording device in our child's room so we can actually monitor the baby better than some of the cameras that are available on there. And some of the tools that we've got, of course, our drill, paddle bit, the mounting hardware, the camera itself. This is some more of the mounting hardware, drill bits, and a plate. This plate's going to catch the dust for us to keep us from making a big mess in my daughter's room and my wife happy so that way there's not a big powdery mess everywhere because she's really big on that. What we're going to do is we're going to use our paddle bit and we're going to put a lead in, a hole, in the ceiling where we want the wires to come through. And this is a three quarter inch bit. This bit's big enough for these to easily pass through and you can see right there the largest head or lead on that I got will fit through that hole very easily. And this, where the three of them come together, will pass through there as well. And then we'll use some caulk after this is in place to seal up the hole. Okay, well, let's get started on that. What I do is I'm going to take our plate that we have, a little styrofoam plate, and I'm going to eyeball kind of the center of that plate. It doesn't have to be spot on because I'm actually just using the plate to collect the dust. And I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to start my hole through there. Then, plate side up, I'm going to slide that through. Okay, now what I've done is I've got a large collection device. So when I start drilling into the sheetrock above my head, the dust will get caught down in here. You could take and spray this with water. Um, it's fine, but then the water drips down on you. Uh, but I just will go slow, barely using my drill. And that way the dust doesn't fly off all over the place. So you'll actually see. You can kind of see what's happening here is I've got my paddle bit ready. And here's my plate. I'm just going to start real slow. Let's put it in forward. That'll help. I'm going to have to put my camera down in order to hold the plate or it won't work at all. So. Now I'll show you what it caught. You can take a look and see. There you go. How much it, it caught. Now it kept it up out of the floor. There's a little bit that came through the hole where my, my drill was rotating, but that's how much it saved off the floor. And we're just going to bag this up in a plastic bag. Now let's talk about hardware. Since we're going into drywall, we're going to use the anchors that were provided and screws that were provided from the manufacturer. And it has three of these anchors and three long screws to mount it into the sheetrock. And here's the actual mechanism that will hook up to the back. You can see that it has three holes. It has several different adjustments on there, how it connects up, down. It has a little pivoting system. What we'd like to do is first mark with a pencil on the ceiling where our three holes are going to be. Then we're going to size our little piece right here to a drill bit. So that way we use the right bit because we want these plastic anchors to be very snug putting them in and then when the screw goes in it'll actually take and spread that anchor out okay so let's get started all right we got all of our holes drilled and what i'm holding here is just a long piece of metal this happens to be used to hold insulation up uh, you can use a coat hanger you can use anything that's long enough to get through the insulation up in your attic and what I'm actually doing is I'm just creating a very small flag and I'll pop this up one like this up in every hole that I've made so this will fold up and then I'll take and I'll push it up through the sheetrock hole shake 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 up through the insulation and just keep going up as far as I can go and then when I go up in my attic space I'll be able to spot these very quickly and take my line and feed it down through the holes to the cameras and the excess line will just stay up in the attic. Great!